Hello all, it's Jenny here and I have my add-on items from the July 2022 glam bag. They're all in this big box here. And um, so what I'm going to do a little different this time is go ahead and unload everything and then I will talk about it all. Okay, as you can see, this this the add-ons came was a bundle that came with this really big overnight bag with the May twenty. Sorry, gotta get my cat off my seat. With the May twenty twenty two glam bag pattern, I have my. Um, a lot of people were thinking that this is that the bundle came with the bag that came in the May Glam Bag X. So I just kind of wanted to show how these are very different bag, how this is a very, how this is not the same bag. So this is the bag that came in the bundle. And this is the bag that came in the Glam Bag X. As you can see, the bag that came in the Glam Bag, Glam bag X can actually fit in the frame without me having to move the camera, unlike the bag that came in the bundle. I just really wanted to sit, show y'all so y'all can see the differences. Another big difference is this had the, the um, bundle bag has like this hot pink lining that's just really brings out the pattern. I think it makes the pattern a lot brighter. And then you can see the inside of the bag. It's, the, the bag does have thin lining. And it's actually expandable. So, open it, unzip it. And I'm sorry, this is really not the best framing for it. I really don't have the best setup for the framing. And of course, the zipper is a little stuck around the corner. There we go. So, when you expand it, you get like several more inches just to show you it expanded. It gives, what would that be, about four inches at least of extra space. So, this is a really nice overnight bag to have on hand. I'm really excited about being able to use this on my next trip. I really like the bag. So let's go into the items that came in the bundle first. And then there's one item that was a bonus item. We'll start with the Pacifica Dream Moon fragrance. Cruelty-free um, Pacifica is a cruelty-free um, company. So it says, dreamy, compassion, and calmness, moon face full. Mood visionary, patchouli for sacredness, the sandalwood for divine, and pink rose for astral. This, this perfume is formulated with corn grain alcohol. So um, I'm not huge on patchouli, to be honest, but I love sandalwood and pink rose. There's the side. Like, the packaging is just stunning. And it says here, 
Honey bear, my brushes are not toys. Stop it. Excuse me, my cat is trying to play with my makeup brushes. Stop it. No. No, honey. All right. Stop. Cat thinks everything's her toy. So it says, every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters. And you are so pretty. This whole packaging is so cute. Honey bear, stop it. Come here. Come here. Okay. If you want to see where she's making trouble. Honey bear. See, there she is. In the background. Making trouble. Honey. Come here. You're not doing the video. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi, babe. There she is. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Check out the bag. And she's going to chew on the bag, of course. Not a toy baby. One moment. Find something for her to play with. Just a Q-tip. It'll work. Here you go. Nope. Uh, so here's the fragrance. Sorry about that interruption. So here's Pacifica Dream Moon. It's a really pretty bottle. You, it doesn't have a lid, so you can actually smell it when you pull it out. It smells good. Or oh, that's nice. It's a very sweet smell there's something classic and nostalgic about it i really like the fragrance i really wish i knew about better how to explain the notes of fragrances but i do not okay next item is the dr brandt skin changing science pores no more luminizer primer it gives a natural-looking backlight glow revives dull complexions, helps refine the look of pores. And then there's everything in France, different languages. So light up your complexion with a combination of optical diffusers, illuminating crushed stardust pearls, and pore-perfecting ingredients to help refine and lessen the look of pores, providing a subtle sheen in a smoother canvas. Dr. Brandt recommends apply on clean, moisturized skin. Use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application AM and PM. I'm currently using a primer, so I'll be a little bit before I open this one. But there's the packaging. I do like the ombre blue and silver packaging. That's really pretty. next item in it is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray Prep Skin Refreshes Makeup Instant Hydration Fix on the Fly and there is a typo here where they have an L instead of an E that's probably why Ipsy has it is because of that typo in the packaging so this is just a face mist That does not want to come out of the box. Okay. Nice packaging here. There we go. Okay, and so it comes with, it also came with a complex culture, pout clout, lipstick, rich plumping lip color, and legit. So it says, plump up your pout. Silky rich cream color helps plump with a plant extract and peptide blend. Feels hydrating with naturally moisturizing botanical waxes and oils, yet weightless on the lips. Plan a kiss all day with buildable full coverage lasting color. Here's the packaging. 
does have a magnetic lid. Let's go ahead and swatch it. That's the color. That's really pretty. It's coming out orangier on my camera than it is in person, but it's a really pretty color and I like it. And we have the iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette. Create gorgeous multidimensional luminosity and warmth with these six velvety face powders. And it has the ingredients. It's made in Italy. And let me kind of have something to hold over the mirror so it doesn't blind you. Or try to angle it so the mirror doesn't blind everyone. These are the colors on the palette. I'm going to go ahead and watch them for y'all. There we go. So the mirror doesn't blind everyone. Just watch it next to so this is the highlighter. I think these first two are highlighters. And then these, the top two left, the right ones are the bronzers and then the blushes. So they're the highlighters. Let's do the blushes next. And they're the highlighters, so you can kind of see them in different lighting. very pigmented. Again, for whatever reason, the lighting on my camera comes out orangier. It's actually a pinkier shade than it's showing. We'll be posting these on my Instagram. This is like a rose color or a dusty rose, I think is what it's often called. So the matte blush, I would say, has less color payoff than the, let me try it with my finger, than the other ones. There it is. That will be good for a subtle look. Now let's do the bronzers on the bottom of my hand. I like how this isn't as dark as it looks in the pan. So, and it's blendable. So, it's something that I could use. Also, think I'll have to look to see if they are eye safe because I think these would be pretty colors as eyeshadows as well. Okay, so that's that palette I just stuck my nail right into that that's not good that's not a good way to treat a palette don't stick your nail right into them okay and so finally the sandbar oasis palette There you go. So this is pink sand. That's what we're going to start with. It just blends right into the skin. This is another one that's really good to use as a base. This next one is Lame. I don't wear a lot of reds, but this comes out more copper on the skin than it looks in the pan. That's pretty. It's Blame. Then we have Solil.
so it is buildable so it doesn't have a lot of color payoff to start with but it does build and then storm oh it's pretty a nice dark silver almost like steel color very pretty and cactus Like that. It's a very light green. This cactus and finally prism. This one's probably the one I'm most excited about. It's very fluorescent and pan. It's not working with the q tip, so let me just use my fingertip. I think that had other colors in it. Let me use a fingertip here, just because I haven't dipped it in anything. So that's what it looks like. That is stunning. So in some lighting it's white, and in other lighting it's pink. It's really pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And so that is the Sandbar Beauty, or the Sandbar Oasis palette. See, does it say anything? It just lists the ingredients on the back. And as I dug into the iconic London palette, it's given a little bit of a mess. So those are what came in the um, bundle. I don't remember the name of it quite off, quite offhand. I should have looked it up before I started the video, but I didn't. I will um, let y'all know in, on my Instagram what it is, so you can check it out there. And then the last add-on is a um, was a bonus item because this cost at least twenty-five dollars. It is the Zion Health Hydrating Lip Balm in Orange Blossom. I have this in um, Elderberry. It's okay as far as lip balms go. The Orange Blossom does smell really good, which I suspected it would. I mean, it's a lip balm. You do have to apply it multiple times throughout the day. But I kind of feel like that kind of goes with any lip balm. So these are my add-ons for July 2022. Again, everyone take care. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And don't be afraid to reach out. Bye-bye.